Hi everyone, back again with some tips using Mobile Sheets. Again, Mobile Sheets is an app for the Android operating system. It enables you to view and organize your music. The question I get all the time is the DS Alcoda situation or a DC Alcoda or skipping pages. How do you do that? So I am going to try and demonstrate how to do that using Mobile Sheets in a few ways. So let's get it started. And I'm going to call up this chart here, MacArthur Park. And this happens to be a three page document. And you'll see that over here at bar 14 is the sign. And a little bit further down, a couple bars uh, afterwards is the code sign. And if you go to, there's a second page, there's the third page, and on the third page is the DSL coda. And in this example, uh, our DS is on the, the first page, our sign rather is on the first page. And the coda is here towards the bottom of the third page. All right, so let's go back. Here's the second page, first page. So how do we do that? So we need to go into the edit music menu. And the way you do that is just by simply tapping on the screen. And down at the bottom, you have a bunch of icons. And today we're going to focus on the third icon. that looks like an arrow with a little dot. And that's what we call links or active links. So we need to add an active link to this particular piece of music. So we're going to hit on the plus. And what you need to do is first find the page that you need it to jump from. So let's go to the third page. And here on the third page, you want to hit the DSL coda area, which is where I'm going to put my finger. And then now you need to assign it where you need it to jump to. So now I'm going to go back to page one. And we go back to page one and I want it to jump to the sign. So I'm going to hit on that. And so when that comes up, this menu comes up and it shows you that the jump will go from page three to page one. And those colors, I'll show you uh, what that means when I go through it and I show it to you. Now we need to do another one because we have a code assigned. So I'm going to hit the code assigned here on the first page because that's where I want it to jump, start the jump. And then I need it to jump to the code assign, which is on page three. And the menu comes up again and it shows you that it's going to jump from page one to page three. And there's a different color segment there. OK, so now let's just hit anywhere on the page and let's pretend like we're doing a gig or we're rehearsing the chart or whatever. So here's page one. Here's page two. Here's page three. So now we're here. I'm going to hit the DS sign and you'll see it's blue and the red shows up where the Dalsenio is. Let's hit the code sign and it jumps directly to the third page. And you, uh, I don't know if it happened really fast. It, it highlighted in yellow. Let me do it again. Go back to the beginning. Here's page two. Here's page three. Hit where I assigned it to over here. Blue and it shows up in red. And we read it down and then we hit the little coda. Oops, hit the little coda sign there and it goes to yellow. Now, if you hit any place else on the screen, the edit menu will come up. There is a way of shutting that off. If you go to the menu, you can put it in performance mode. And this way, none of the menus will pop up. But here it is again. Hit it and you hit the code sign and it turns to yellow. Very easy, very quick. Of course, in this demonstration, I'm using my hands to tap on the screen. But most of us who play an instrument, our hands are not free. Here's where the pedals come in. There are Bluetooth pedals that are available. I'm using the AirTurn BT-105. And these come with two pedals, uh, a right one and left one, for you to go forward and backwards. And uh, I'm not going to do a whole huge demonstration on this because there are a ton of videos on the AirTurn. But here, if I hit the right pedal, you see the pages go forward. I hit the left pedal. I know it's hard to see in the video there. I'm trying to hold all of that. Here it is. Here's my thumb. Right pedal, forward, forward. And here I'm going to use the left pedal to go backwards and backwards, right? So, of course, I'm using my hands, but the idea is you put it on the floor and you can use your feet uh, to, to hit, hit those pedals. So now how does this work with the DS? We're going to go to the options menu, go out a little bit, go to the options menu, go to the Bluetooth menu. 
hit Bluetooth and you have these options here. Right now we're just going to focus in on the Bluetooth pedal mode. And there are a bunch of different modes in which you can set up your two pedals. So the first one is, you know, previous page, uh, next page, it's it pretty much the first one is the left, what the left pedal does. The second one is what the right pedal does. So I'm going to just show you the menu. There's a whole lot of things for scrolling and for different aspects. We're going to deal with the third option, which is the active link, which again, that's what the mobile sheets calls the DS jumping the, the pages thing active link so we're going to hit on active link so i'm going to tell it that the left pedal is going to activate the active links and the right pedal is going to move the pages forward so i'm going to try to do everything here with the the tablet and the uh, pedals so now i'm going to hit the right pedal goes to page two right pedal goes to page three and now with the left pedal I'm going to hit that and you'll see it jumps to page one like we did with our finger and I'm going to hit it again and it, the, again I'm hitting the left pedal and I'm going to jump to the coda so I assigned the left pedal to do the active link jumps I'll do it again you hit the left pedal I know it's hard to see everything in one but I'll hit it again and then show you it goes to page three. So hands-free, it can work the same way as using your hands. I'll be perfectly honest. I know I went through the whole demonstration of showing you the active link, and it's very cool that it's available, but I actually don't use that. And I'm going to bring up the same chart and show you what I've done with most of my charts that have DS Alcoders or a DC Alcoda. Here's the same MacArthur Park three-page document here. But what I've done is I've created a fourth page. So originally it's a three-page document. And the fourth page, I simply cut and paste the first page and the third page and made a fourth page out of it. So there's my, uh, my Dalsenio goes down. There's my coda sign. And there's the, the coda. So I did it in uh, Microsoft Word. I just simply had the two documents, put it onto a blank page, created a fourth page. And so this way, now I'm just always reading forward. So, you know, here's the first page. Here's the second page. Here's the third page. And just to show you, it works also with the pedal. Same thing. I'm going to hit the right pedal. Here's my fourth page. I don't have to worry about jumping back and forth. I don't have to do any of those things. I think it's a little bit easier. It does take a little bit of work. But once you do the work in the word processor, you're just simply always reading forward. Again, the cool thing about this program is there are different ways to do the same task. If you would like to use mobile sheets, active link to use your DSs, wonderful. If you want to take the time on your computer to make the necessary adjustments in a word processor, copy and paste, you can do that as well. You cannot do the copying and pasting in mobile sheets. You have to do that uh, someplace else on your computer probably. Okay. I hope